Hello and welcome for this video regarding the liquid ejector. An ejector has a port in which the primary mass flow expands through a convergent. The pressure decreases and the speed increases. The potential energy is transformed into kinetic energy. The expansion of the primary mass flow is isentropic in the mixing chamber. The primary pressure is lower than the secondary pressure and that is what allows the lift. The two mass flow are then mixed through the streamer where the suction increase so the speed decreases and the pressure goes a little bit higher. To understand how works an ejector, we only need two pieces of pipe. We're going to use CO2 gas for the primary mass flow of our ejector. Water is used as secondary mass flow. When CO2 comes inside the ejector, an expansion occurs that allows the lift of secondary mass flow before being mixed to the CO2 in the diffuser. Primary and secondary fluid characteristics, temperature, pressure and mass flow are crucial to allow the suction in the ejector. A mass flow variation can also stop the lift. The liquid ejector allows evaporators to operate with a very low superheat. On direct expansion systems, a superheat of 8 Kelvin is recommended, so not all the surface is fully used. The surface related to the superheat represents around 15% of a cooling capacity of 5% of the total capacity. By dilating this zone with very low superheat, the efficiency is maximized and the delta of temperature between supply air and evaporation can be reduced by increasing the empty reference. The better filling of the evaporator will stimulate annular flow. This means the refrigerant will flow through the entire surface of the tube. The vapor will stay in the center. This type of flow is a goal for many evaporator contractors in order to maximize the efficient ratio. The increase of evaporation temperature will also decrease the delta with air temperature that will limit the dehumidification phenomenon that implies a loss of capacity and ice formation. If the temperature on the fins is under zero degrees, there is no need to defrost. The liquid ejector will lift the liquid in the accumulator at the evaporator's outlet, returning it to the receiver. The high pressure is used as motrice flow in summer. With ambient temperature equal to 32 degrees, CO2 will be at 34 degrees at the outlet of the gas cooler with a pressure of 86 bars. The receiver will be maintained at 4 degrees means 38 bars and an evaporation pressure of 30 bars will be maintained by compressor, which represent minus 5 degrees. Performances of an ejector are represented by two indicators. The entrainment ratio, which is the secondary mass flow lifted, divided by the primary mass flow used as motrice force. In our example, the ejector lifts 127 kg per hour for 160 kg per hour of primary mass flow, which means an entrainment ratio of 0 0.79. Like a compressor, an ejector has a compression ratio, it is the second indicator of performance, with 39 bars at the outlet for 30 bars at the lift. The compression ratio is 1.25. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon.